Welcome to the OG Pod, the original Gangsters Podcast. I am Scott Bernstein, your host. Another quick hitter edition. Um, today we're going to talk about Youngstown, Ohio, and some you know, some bombshell news. Uh, it looks like the murder, the most infamous gangland murder in uh, Youngstown, in that area, in the Mahoning Valley, of the last forty-five years at least. Little Joey Naples was murdered uh, via a sniper's rifle at his property in Beaver County. Had been a longtime member of the Youngstown underworld, a made member of the Pittsburgh Mafia, and he was murdered in 1991. Nobody's ever been arrested for that murder. And there's been dozens of theories. Um, a lot of it tied to Lenny Strollo, the former uh, Mafia skipper there. Uh, some of it tied to John Gotti, uh, the Dapper Don. Um, but this new theory has come out being presented in a new book written by, uh, former Northeast Pennsylvania mafia, Don B big bill, the alia and, uh, big bill had done business with little Joey or was doing a lot of business with little Joey. And he's coming out with a new theory. He says that according to what he believes or what he knows, Ernie B Ernie Biondillo, another major Youngstown crime, uh, crime world figure who had always been viewed as an ally of, of Joey Naples. According to this new book, um, The Life We've Chosen, written by Matt Burba uh, Burbeck and uh, the story of the of the life and times of, of Big Bill D'Elia, the, the protege of Russell Buffalino, the Irishman, Joe Pesci playing Russell Buffalino, yada, yada, yada. Uh, he says that or uh, he alludes um, and infers and, and and says that Ernie B was the person behind little Joey Naples assassination and that it uh, revolved around a woman that little Joey Naples was romancing Ernie B's wife. It's pretty salacious. That theory has never been out there before. Um, Ernie B would meet a similar fate uh, five years later he was gunned down in a beef with Lenny Strollo. And even though Bill D'Elia does not name Ernie Biondillo in his book, he says that Joey Naples uh, was killed by another Youngstown wise guy who was killed himself five years later in a highway ambush. And that's how uh, Ernie B., met his end uh, in June of 1996, was boxed in uh, on a, a, a small, I think it was a one lane uh, highway and, and some of Lenny Strollo's guys who were an African-American crew that, that Lenny had, had recruited uh, late in his reign and uh, they, they killed Ernie B. So Bill Delia right now is saying, don't look at Lenny Strollo, don't look at John Gotti, don't look at some other names we've heard. Uh, there was rumors that a couple brothers had done it. There was rumors that there was a guy that uh, did it for Lenny Strollo without Lenny Strollo knowing, uh, wanting to curry favor with, with Strollo without actually having to be given the contract, but would somehow retroactively, uh, you know, be, it would be okay and that uh, that person would would become a made member or, or whatnot. Um, John Gotti has been rumored involved in 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 Joey Naples murder. Uh, they had some business related to fireworks and you know rumors of a, a, a fireworks deal going going bad but you know the Gotti regime made a ton of money uh, selling fireworks on the on the black market and he was, being supplied in, in that endeavor by little Joey Naples. Uh, Naples family goes all the way back, uh, you know, to the mid 20th century and uh, the start of this, this big war that broke out between Cleveland and Pittsburgh for control over Youngstown. Uh, little Joey lost two of his brothers to that war, but it looked like, you know, he was, uh, he was the chosen one. Lenny Strollo, who, him and Lenny Stroller were jockeying for power in Youngstown. 
Uh, both had been made by the Pittsburgh mob. Lenny had to go to prison for about 15 months in 1990. The, the most prominent theories uh, that, that came out after Naples' murder that, ha that had been kind of thought of as the most likely scenario up until maybe now, or maybe it still is, but this definitely gives us pause, was that Lenny Strollo uh, worried that he was going to lose a grip on the crime family when he was off the streets and that little Joey Naples was going to come and unseat him and, and take over his rackets and bump him out of the way because he wasn't there to fight back, that his response to that was just to basically kill little Joey Naples while he was behind bars. Now, Lenny Strollo flipped and became a government witness, never copped to the uh, the Naples hit. We're still here 32 years later, and, and again, it's never been solved. Nobody's ever been arrested. If, I bet if you ask people in the Mahoney Valley, it is the most notorious mob murder there, uh, probably since the 50s or 60s when when little Joey's uh, brothers were were really uh, at the forefront of all of that. Uh, Cadillac Charlie Cavallaro getting blown up in, in the 60s was another you know major major headline grabbing assassination. But after that, nothing was bigger than than the little Joey Naples hit in 1991 he was building a mansion uh a, a, or a, a, a big piece of uh a big house on a, a big piece of property out in beaver county and he was out there he hadn't moved in yet and he was out there uh, kind of examining how the how the construction was going and authorities believe that someone sitting or standing in a cornfield that was behind the property uh killed him via sniper's rifle so I'm not sure if Big Bill D'Elia is uh, alleging that Ernie B was the sniper or if Ernie B just ordered it, but he's saying it, it came from a a romance and, and a, a love triangle and had nothing to do with Lenny Strollo or uh, beef with John Gotti. Um, I know this has got a, you know, when this news starts to filter out in Youngstown, you know, it's going to... Uh, ruffle some feathers because it just this is this is very very um the soap opera aspect of this is, is enhanced you know this for so many years it just looked like it was a uh you know a typical gangster kills another gangster and we just didn't know why or who um but this you know from a thirty thousand foot view now 32 years later getting a new perspective and I'm sure a lot of family members, uh, the Beyond the bon, Beyondillos and, and the, the Naples, uh, I, I don't know how this is going to play. I got a feeling it's not going to play great. I, I know that uh, Ernie B's kids are around. Um, so w we should see. But I definitely had to come and report about it uh, because this is something we've never heard before. So. My gut tells me that this was probably still a Lenny Strollo thing, um, but it's coming from Big Bill D'Elia. You know, it's a pretty good source on it. I don't know how much he would have known or not known, being that he wasn't a part of that family, but it, it's definitely something that should be put out there and left for, you know, people to debate. So uh, Scott Burns, another episode of the OG pod, original Gangsters pod. Check back later this week for another long form episode with Jimmy, the doctor. Thanks Ben behind the glass. I'll see you next time for the OG pod. Scott Bernstein out.